YouTube, it's me, the intranet. I'm on the intranet again. It's an awkward opening. I got my hair cut today, and I got it colored with blue and red, and made it purple. Pur purple. Purple. So today, I'm starting a fun new thing that I'm going to do every, I guess every day, a uh, sports update on hockey. If I get if I have enough time to search up the NFL and the NBA and the MLB, I will. But for right now, all I'm doing is the NHL hockey playoffs, and I'll do it. I'll do summer sports during the summer and stuff. But it's highlights of the playoffs. So the series in the playoffs of 2014 are tied at. 2-2 for Colorado and Minnesota Wild. Colorado Avalanche, that is. Um, tied 2-2 for St. Louis Blues and the Chicago Blackhawks. T series tied 2-2 for the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. The two Ds, the Anaheim, Anaheim Mighty Ducks and the Dallas Stars. Series going on 3-1. Leading the series is San Jose Sharks again, and the losing end of the series would be the Los Angeles Kings. I'm sorry, Ben, if you're watching this, I feel terrible for you because I want San Jose to lose more than you. No offense, San Jose fans, but you, no, just no. We didn't, playoffs are not the San Jose thing. I guess this year, this year there. So, oh, and. Leading in the series 3-1 again is the Boston Bruins against the Detroit Red Wings. Eliminated from the playoffs was the Tampa Bay Lightning on a four-game winning streak from Montreal Canadiens. Good job, Montreal. I think that's the first time I've ever said that. Series tied at 2-2 for the Pittsburgh Penguins, my favorite team personally. I don't have my Pittsburgh sweater on. Never mind, I was going to go Pittsburgh. So the series is tied 2-2 for the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Columbus Blue Jackets. Down in New York and Philly, the series is tied 2-2 with the New York Rangers and the Philadelphia Flyers, not the Phillies. So we're going to start injury reports for the NHL playoff teams. I should have uh, did this earlier, but I didn't. So, going into the St. Louis Blues website, it's just loading there. It's a black screen. Black screen. Black. That was race. I have to be quiet. I yell too much. So, injury report for the mm, David Backus is playing with a playable injury. Forget where it is. It doesn't say. I wish it did. So, next we go into the I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's a Pittsburgh pin. It's San Jose Sharks. Check out the San Jose Sharks. So, uh, while I love this screen up here, um, I had a very boring day at school today. Last night, I was tricked into buying an app, the I I I that was supposed to be a video thing where it's on you. It's this screen, this camera right here on iPhones and stuff. It's for the iPhone, and you just click on the app, click play, and it's there, and it's on, and it films in HD. So we're on the website here. Injuries for the San Jose Sharks is nothing. So this is starting to be a waste of injury time. I could be doing something else, like stats for players and stuff. 
So yeah, I'm going to check out the scores from previous games that you might not know about. So next we head to the Pittsburgh Penguins website. The Penguins. The Penguins. The Penguins. The Penguins. Penguins. The Penguins. The Penguins, my favorite team. I haven't been on their website in a whole two days. So yeah. This idea was given to me by a peer, a friend, a colleague of mine to do these kind of things. Injuries for the Peng Pittsburgh Penguins, finally an injury, but not on, it shouldn't be on this team. Jeff Sarkov with a knee injury. Uh, there's no further notice. Um... Chris Letang currently still recovering, but still with a playable injury from his stroke. He's finally back and playing. He's been playing for a while. Lee Stepniak with a playable injury of a bruised wrist. I don't know if it's bruised. It's, he's, play, he's a playable player, and he has an injury on his wrist, so I'm guessing it's just bruised. And a serious injury that's keeping him out of the lineup for the next couple of possibly weeks. Is number nine Pascal Dupuis out with a forget what it's called and it won't tell me. So that's fun. That's fun. Bam bam bam. So I'm gonna stop there. That there for today so um tell me what you've done today um fast clan i'll do your video contest uh if there's not much nhl stuff tell me in the comment section below if you want to hear me talk about hockey and the playoffs and stuff and since the playoffs will be over in may please give me suggestions in the comment section below on um, what i should do for what what I should do with my future videos. Like, should I create a time machine? There's my background setup for my QA day. It's on this chair, this mini chair. I just sit here in my Okay, see this thing right here? Right there? You can probably see it. It's right here. I set my iPod like that. I sit down in the chair. The background's behind me. I answer questions from another iPod. Because I filmed from my brother's iPod on Q and A days. Sorry, I did that again. It is, since it's not New Year's yet, but I'm going to make a res revolution, or whatever you call it. Tonight, I have blank stares when I'm filming. Because that annoys some people. So, um... What I did earlier was I didn't search up the Pittsburgh Penguins, the San Jose Sharks, or the uh, St. Louis Blues uh, injury reports, but I did for the Boston Bruins. I did for the Colorado Av Avalanche. I did for the Minnesota Wild. I did for the Chicago Blackhawks. I did for the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. I did for the Dallas Stars. And I did for LA. And I didn't do Detroit. But the only injury from Boston then was Brad Marshall, I forget what the injury exactly was. And the only injury, the only other, the only two, the two other injuries that I've seen. Uh, Colorado with Matt Duchesne with an ankle injury, I forget exactly. And Dallas Stars with a playable injury on Ryan Getzlaff. So that's been about it for today's video. Um... Well, one of today's videos. I'm going to do a personal vlog. 
not this stuff. Since I already did the shoutouts and stuff. Actually, I didn't do this. I, I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. I want to do a Q&A day soon. Because I got like three or four different questions. But that's not enough. Three or four is not enough. If you haven't watched my watch my call in my yesterday's Q and A video, um, please go check that out. Oh, there's Ryan gets left. Oh, it, it's gone. One second. So yeah, stars and ducks. Yes. You oh. I don't know if you saw Ryan Getzlav there, but uh, he has uh, something wrong with his jaw because he got hit by a puck by in the Dallas game. He has 50-something stitches from right here to like here. So I'm going to let you guys go. Have yourself a great day, night, whatever it is, whenever you're watching this, wherever you are. Uh, keep the peace on the streets. Ta